Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this absolutely fabulous Bentley Turbo R long wheelbase. Now, before you ask, no, it is not coming with that number plate. No amount of money in the world will prize that number plate off of the current keeper, but the car is for sale. So if you're interested in the number plate, you can stop watching now. If it's the car you're interested in, well, in this video, we're gonna show you absolutely everything you need to know about this Bentley Turbo R long wheelbase. So if it is the car for you, you know exactly what you're coming down to get. And if it's not, well, you don't have to waste your time and effort coming down to see it. So we're gonna go for a full walk around first of all of this car, and I will get up close and personal with it as we go around it. Uh, first thing though that you will notice is that it is in absolutely gorgeous condition in this Brooklands British Racing Green. Uh, it's got beige leather interior and has done 106,000 miles from new with a full documented service history. It's currently on its fifth owner. They acquired the vehicle in 2012. The previous keeper has had the car since 2002. Now, as we get up to the front again of the car, I'm gonna get up close and personal with this Bentley so that you know exactly what it is that you're coming down to see. So we're just gonna start right here with the front grille, and I'm just gonna show you that there is a tiny little bit of a paintwork defect there. A little bit of the patina is coming off. Only way to fix that, I would not touch that up. Uh, you'll need to basically respray this area here. The whole front grille will need a respray. Now this is a 19 year old car. It has done 106,000 miles. Uh, if you were to respray this front grille, which is obviously the nose of the car, it's the first thing people will probably look at. Uh, well, it'll just make it look absolutely lovely. But one thing I would recommend respraying is this bonnet. It's a very large expanse. Uh, we can get this resprayed for 200 pounds and that's a professional A1 standard re repair and respray. And the reason you would do so is because of this uh, imperfection here. This is due to the lacquer uh, peeling off, probably down to a previous respray that wasn't properly lacquered. Uh, and you can see those little areas there. And they are noticeable when you step back from the car, if indeed you know what you're looking for and you are looking for them, although actually, you can't quite see them in this video, but they are there, I can assure you, as you've seen for yourself. So if you wanted to have that rectified, you could do so yourself, that's absolutely fine. It is, of course, reflected in the price here at Sell Your Car UK, and if you want that sorted, then we will do so for, as I said, 200 pounds. Now, this is a privately owned vehicle being sold exclusively using our services here at Sell Your Car UK. We are able to offer warranties and finance and part exchange and all those things. Sadly, with a car of this age, it's a 1996 P Reg, and that's what it's going to be coming with a p registration sadly on a car of this age we are not able to provide a warranty with the car uh, and you probably will spend a fair bit of money on it as the current owner and all the previous owners have done themselves uh, not least of all on things like tires and brakes but as you can see here all of those are in good condition uh, loads of life left in the brake discs and pads and those tires as well it's also recently had all four wheels in fact five wheels refurbished and we've got the bill to show for that. Uh, it still has got a tiny bit of curbing on one of the wheels. I'll show you that. Now, most of the bodywork on this, if you weren't aware, is actually aluminium. So you don't have to worry about things like rust spots, but where there is metal, then a car of this age, and certainly Bentleys aren't exactly uh, not prone to it. I don't want to say it's very common, but it does happen. You do get rust spots. I'll show you them as we come around the car. I'm just showing you though here, apart from my feet and a very shiny door, I'm just trying to show you that there are some little marks, imperfections, where evil people have opened their car door into this one, and indeed where this car door has been opened into perhaps somebody else's as well, uh, or at least grazed something down there. Now you wouldn't really bother getting these things sorted out. There's a tiny little rust spot about to burst its way through. Although it's not, it has actually been sealed. If I run my finger along that quite vigorously, you can see that that's not going anywhere. Uh, but it has to be mentioned on this video. I don't want you wasting your time. You know what you're coming down to see. Tiny little scratch just there that will not polish out. Uh, much to what a, a dealer might tell you otherwise. And likewise as well, there's a little bit of a scratch going along here, which we ourselves have given a bit of a polish to, and that is not coming out. 
If you wanted to get that sorted, then you can do, but obviously as you step back from the car, it really does vanish. And like I say, it's a 19 year old car. It's done 106,000 miles. It's certainly not a concourse finest car. So I think you could forgive it a couple of little marks and it would still be an absolutely gorgeous car for a beautiful summer's day to take down to Goodwood or to a Bentley meet or indeed just to drive a lovely drive. Enjoy, pardon me, a lovely drive. Uh, now I'm just coming around this wheel arch here. So just to show you a couple of little spots here, which you can see very clearly here. So I'm just making sure you see absolutely everything. You could get all of these resealed uh, and redone should you so wish. The current keeper is not spending any more money on this car. He is just selling it for a very nice knockdown price. So you can afford to do all of those things yourself should you want to, or indeed you're just getting a bargain. Uh, just showing you again here, a really great tire with loads of life left in it. A lovely alloy wheel that's been refurbished uh, and you can't quite see in there, but very shiny and very clean discs uh, and good pads as well. Now, as we come around the rear of the car, no parking sensors, do me a favor, 1990 96 didn't have such things uh, and I'm just showing you though that it is very unmarked around the back here there's no scrapes or scuffs or cracks in that bumper and indeed the boot lid as well very clean probably has been resprayed at some point in its life but a good job's been done on that there is one tiny scratch I'm being very very fussy uh, and you can just see that scratch there I told you I'm being very very fussy I'm just showing you these things because I want to make sure you are aware of it uh, also, not quite sure what this is going along here on the rear window. Probably condensation caused. Can't be helped. Just want to make sure that you know exactly what you're looking at when you're watching this video. Now, as we come down the passenger side of the car, uh, very, very clean. I'll show you there is one tiny little dimple dent, which I will come to, which again, we can get sorted out for you. It's a little trickier on aluminium than it is on metal, but it can be done. Uh, just showing you here as well, a tiny little scratch on the paintwork. Uh, the kind of paintwork this is, this gorgeous metallic uh, Brooklyn's British Racing Green uh, is quite hard to, uh, to get these kind of marks perfect with a touch-up pen. So I really wouldn't go near it with one. Uh, so therefore, if you want to get that sorted out, might come out with a machine polish. We've polished the vehicle, but we haven't done a machine polish. Just showing you another little bit of rust spot there. I'm just showing you the inside of this arch and this sill. Uh, so yeah, I was just saying about the polishing side of things. So if you wanted to do a machine polish on this car, you'd probably be looking for a professional job, but about 150 quid, because there's quite a lot of car here. Uh, that's entirely up to yourself. We can provide that service here at Sell Your Car UK should you so wish. It can come with a full machine polish before you take the car away. Again, we've reflected it in the price. There's no guarantee that marks like that will come out in a machine polish. Certainly marks like that will not. Uh, and I would not respray an entire boot lid the size of a table tennis table for the sake of that tiny scratch. Uh, all the pinstriping is really lovely and something that's really fabulous about these cars is that that pinstriping was all done by hand at the factory. If it has had any paintwork since, then that pinstriping has been done again by hand. It's a lovely feature that. Uh, now, as we come around here on the driver's, uh, sorry, the passenger side front door, there is a dimple dent, which is now going to prove incredibly difficult to show you uh, because that is the very nature of dimple dents, but it is here somewhere. Uh, I'm trying to show you. I think you might be able to just pick it up. No, nope, that is a little tiny nick there. Uh, there's another one just here. Uh, you're getting a good reflection of the of the uh, curb there, but we're not unfortunately able to see that little dimple dent. It's uh, so minute that it's actually vanished on me, but it is there. It's there somewhere. If I spot it, I will show you it. Uh, coming along here, just going to show you down here by this fabulous Bentley badge. It's a red label because it obviously is a turbo. A bit more of a rust spot just down there uh, on one of the sills. And as we come around this wheel arch here, just to show you a clean wheel arch in good condition with no rust spots there. Uh, lovely wheel here. This is probably the only one that since it's been refurbished has had any kind of an issue, as you can see just there, but it is very, very minor. And again, loads of life left in those tires, uh, brakes and pads as well. So here we are, we're back at the front now, just gonna show you on the front bumper. This is a little bit of a niggle of mine. These little rubber bits keep popping out. You just push them back in. Uh, you can get that sealed in place, we haven't. Uh, and just down the front here, just to come really low and show you down here, no scrapes or scuffs from where it's been 
banged into any curbs or anything that's never happened so it's in really really lovely condition as you can see there and again no scrapes or scuffs or scratches or anything like that on this front bumper so there we are we're back where we started back at this absolutely gorgeous bentley flying b uh, red label let's now head inside the car now as we do i'm going to demonstrate or try to demonstrate uh, how these locks are at the moment so i want you to be very very uh, aware of everything about this car so if i pop the key it's only coming with the one key which is this fabulous little bentley key from 1996 pop the key in and if we turn it and we lock it we can see all of the doors locked i don't know if you can see that but they have all locked but now if we unlock it annoyingly only the driver's door unlocks so slight central locking fault there not sure exactly what's causing it but it is there and i want to make you aware of it so that you know for yourself and again priced accordingly you will get some problems on this car you really will you'll just have to either suffer them or spend the money to try and sort them out the word try is the operative word there. Some of these things are a little beyond some mechanics uh, capabilities these days. And unless you want to send it back to crew, I uh, wouldn't bother. Uh, now here we've got a tiny bit of wear in the floor carpets. It's not floor mats. These are carpets. This gorgeous green with uh, cream piping or beige piping, I should say. And then when we go to the actual seats themselves, it's beige with green piping. It's such a gorgeous interior, it really is. It's a sad shame, but it does happen that you do get some wear. Uh, if you wanted to reconnalize the leather, might get some of that cracking out, but really and truly, you'd have to completely recover this entire seat if you wanted to get rid of all of that wear. And why would you bother? It's showing its age. It is a fine antique of a car, this with 106,000 miles. Another lovely touch is this fabulous chrome trim plate here with the Bentley logo embossed on it and that takes us beautifully up to the Bentley plaques so you've got here from the Rolls-Royce Motor Company all of the details of the car uh, the Turbo R badge and then the number that this car is Bentley Motors Limited see you just don't get that anymore and now as we go to the door panel here this is a lovely piece of trim uh, with carpet matching the carpet throughout the car and this lovely beige and then you've got this fabulous real wood finish going along here now I just want to show you and the reason I'm on this is because there is starting to appear some cracks going along the top of that wood again not worth the while to try and get that all replaced this car is not going to win any prizes at any show you might as well just buy it and enjoy it and uh, you're going to spend enough money just driving it with the fuel and the oil rather than spending all the money on sorting out things like that little bit of cracking on the wood uh, now the central locking button which is just here if I press it again not opening and uh, closing those locks but if I put the key in the ignition and give it a turn maybe I need to jump in let's just do that so it's easier to put my foot on the brake make sure we're in park which we are turn the key there we are uh, now I'll come to all of this in a second uh, we're low on petrol now you'll see that the low on petrol sign that's always going to happen and it's saying alarm occurred as well now this car does seem to have a bit of a temperamental alarm i'm just going to show you that might be something to do with the central locking if i now press this button down here you'll see that all of those locks are now working now you might think it's to do with the battery but this car has just had a brand new battery fitted so it might be to do with the battery but i don't know to be honest with you and i'm not going to start guessing uh, now everything else in this car pretty much everything else as far as i can gather seems to work absolutely lovely occasionally i've noticed it comes up down here with a check engine sign now as you would expect in a video like this it's not coming up now typical but i'm telling you about it because i want to make you aware that that does exist so sometimes it comes up with check engine now the current keeper has thrown money at that problem and can't understand why it is there uh, no one can it's been uh, the engine management lights been turned off by a professional bentley garage but it just came back on uh, that is the engine management light that says check engine i've turned the key off now i'm going to turn it back on again just to see if that comes on so you can see the check engine there bottom left hooray no 
Okay, so that's good. Uh, it's good, but it's also annoying. The alarm occurred thing, as I say as well, not always on, but I'm glad it's on at the moment and now it's off uh, because it does show you that it does come on. Now, I'm gonna move away from this dial here and I'm gonna focus on all of these dials here, which are absolutely just something else. It really is gorgeous. Uh, all the way from this clock to this petrol gauge here that when you press this oil button here, that petrol gauge shows you how much oil you've got. Ah, it's just, just neat. That is just neat. Uh, and then if I pan back, you'll see that it is one tree that has done all of the wood inside this car. Beautiful piece of wood panelling. Now this still goes on to this day in Bentleys, uh, new and old, but it is lovely to see it. And you can see here just one piece of wood the entire way. So you've got, just to show you down here, heated seats that do work electric seats as well. They are electric memory and electrically adjusted here. You've also got lumbar supports on the side of the seats. Uh, you've then got electric mirrors that are controlled with these switches here. And then you've got these little switches here, which turn on little lights. Isn't that, isn't that something? It's just adorable, adorable. Uh, and then uh, behind this gear lever with this very stunning sport mode button on the top, if I just pull this out of the way, uh, lift it like so and pull it, uh, then you can see these buttons here, which include to lock the windows, traction control, uh, turning on the front fog lights, the hazard lights, checking the oil like I just did, and this one here opens the fuel cap. Then above that, it is very hot in here, so I'm just going to turn on the air conditioning. Now, I'm not entirely certain this has got actual air conditioning. Um, if it does, it could probably do with being regassed. It doesn't get warm, it doesn't get cold very quickly, uh, it must be said. In fact, you're probably better off driving with the windows open. Uh, I just want to make you aware of all of that. That noise that you can hear as it turns itself off would suggest that it has got air conditioning. I don't know is the honest truth. Uh, now, if we come here, you've got this rather nice little ashtray and a place for a cigarette lighter. Sadly, the cigarette lighter is missing. Lovely way to open that, pressing the Bentley badge there. And then just above it, this gorgeous piece of wood is revealing an Alpine stereo and head unit. Now, very frustratingly, this has a mind of its own. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, now, if we pop open this, you can see here how to change the clock, dim the panel, uh, change the boot to key or automatic when you open up the locks. And then over here as well, you've got some details regarding the Alpine stereo, should it ever decide to come back to life, and some details here regarding the tracker, but it's not coming with that subscription. So if you want to set up the tracker, you can. Now I'm gonna move on from the front of this car, uh, and instead I'm just going to show you, uh, this does something as well, I think, but I can't remember how to open it. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Ah, oh, that's right, there's a key there, I think. I, I might, no, that's for that. It looks like this opens. You can play that game when you come to see it. Okay, uh, you've got electrically adjustable steering wheel. Everything's working up here in the, uh, in the front here. The electric windows are all working as well, which are controlled with this switch here, and so on and so forth. Right, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna jump now into the back very briefly, because I just wanna show you the condition of it. So you've seen the driver's seat. Uh, the rest of the car all very much looks like this. Very, very clean inside, throughout. Uh, lovely features in the back here, including an enormous about amount of leg room. Uh, you've got vents in the back here for the rear passengers, some map pockets, uh, ashtrays as you do, sir, and a cigarette lighter for each side as well, and electric windows. I uh, haven't tested these. I'm not entirely certain if these cigarette lighters still work or indeed if the power sockets themselves work. Haven't tested them. Uh, by all means, if you want to check them, if they do work, bonus. If they don't, well, that's life, sadly. 1996. You, uh, you could forgive this car for that. Again, lovely Bentley kick plates. I'm now gonna make my way, uh, and I'm sorry to rush through this, but this video is quite long already now. I'm gonna make my way to the boot of the car. Now, as you saw, it's set to key, to lock, rather than auto. So I'm just gonna pop the key in here, open the, key, open the boot like so. Pop that badge back down, love it. Uh, and inside here, we have all of the documents. Now, uh, we're gonna start over here with some log books. Uh, I've uh, blanked out any information that may give away previous keepers for data protection, but just showing you here, four former keepers. Uh, the current owner acquired the vehicle. Uh, as we see here, it was first registered on the 4th of September, 1996. They acquired the vehicle on the 22nd of February, 2012. I'll just hold that up a little bit longer so you can see that for yourself. Uh, now that person acquired the vehicle, the previous owner acquired the vehicle, as it says down here, on the 30th of May, 2002. We even have a copy 
from when they signed the logbook themselves. Oh, I think I might have shown you their name. Okay, well, it's not my client. But anyway, I do apologize to that person. Uh, we've got a copy here as well of the previous uh, V5, which shows the current plate that is on the car. This has just come through. So now you have got the original number plate. That is the number plate coming with the car. And it is also the number plate you will find on the service history that goes back all the way here to 2009. And then we've got from here, June 2009, July 2009, more in July, more in August, and a little bit in September, all from H. Horsefield and Sons. Uh, prices ranging from £267. Oh, in fact, no, the cheapest one is £129.72. Uh, the most expensive is 664 Bear in mind, this is what it costs to run a Bentley. So if you're looking at this as a cheap, cool car, it's not going to be, unfortunately. Uh, we've also got some bills here ranging from uh, 2011. Uh, this is from Sunningdale Motors, and this is just before the car was purchased by the current registered keeper who purchased it from Sunningdale Motors. Uh, and it includes work for £764 and some work by Bentley Broughtons of Surrey for £717 and some more work that they did at Sunningdale Motors for £943. Yes, it costs money to own an old Bentley. Uh, this car is cheap in terms of what it would have cost in the when it was brand new, but it is still going to cost you some money. Uh, and now here we have uh, some bills for the current keeper. Now this is a bill from the 1st of July 2014. Uh, this is the most recent bill and it includes carrying out the MOT, renewing the oil and filter, which is essentially an oil change service, also renewing the brake accumulators, bleeding the brakes, there are two tyres and foot refurbishing five wheels. All in all, £2,360.19 spent. But that means you don't have to. Previous to that is a bill as well from the 2nd of July 2014 for some new wiper blades for 40 quid. This car is going to be expensive to run. If that's put you off, then fine, stop the video now. Uh, you've also got MOT certificates coming with the vehicle, including this, the most recent, from the 26th of August 2014. That expires on the 25th of August 2015. Now, it includes the uh, advisory items of tyres being worn, under trays fitted, under trays fitted, obscuring some uh, components, engine covers fitted, obscuring some components, and a nail in a near side rear tire. Those are number three and number four. Really, I won't worry about those. Uh, number one, number two, and number five have all been rectified, as you can see from this receipt here from the 1st of July 2014, where tires have been renewed. Uh, so that was done. Uh, although the brakes don't, the, the dates don't seem to match actually. So, but I know they have been. So maybe these are different tires that have been renewed. But either way, it's got lovely tires. You saw that in. In the video. Uh, you've also got here this fabulous Rolls-Royce Bentley book uh, that has stamped all the way through to the last stamp which was done on the 17th of February 2012 at 101,727 miles. Now it was serviced again as we saw on the 1st of July 2014 or at least it had an oil change and filter service and no expense spared. Uh, but there are other services in here as well, uh, going all the way back and including all sorts of things. Some of it cash work, so replaced the steering rack, front brake pads all been done. Uh, that was at 101,625 miles. The car currently on 106,000. Services going all the way back, uh, all the way with Balmoral, who are a uh, Bentley dealer as well. Loads of stamps in here. Now, if you want to have a look at all of this, you can do. By all means, give us a call. I can send you photographs. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all in this video. Uh, also, with this, you've also got, so that's the service book, uh, but you've also got here loads of information to do with loads of information. If you want to read it, you're welcome to do so. Pretty cool book, this. Uh, just shows you how things worked with regards to if you want to do the work yourself. Like any Bentley owner, well, I suppose a Bentley owner might, maybe not a Rolls Royce owner. So there we are. That's all of the documents that are coming with the car. It's a very thorough service history. It doesn't go all the way back to the first keeper all those 19 years ago, but it does cover a fair amount of work, certainly from the current keeper and previous keeper as well. Like I said, that previous keeper, I'm going to shut the boot, I'm shutting the boot. That previous keeper has owned the car or had owned the car for 10 years prior to selling it. So there we are. I think that covers absolutely everything. I'm sure I've forgotten something that this car's not quite doing right. Uh, but 
I think I've been very thorough. If I do remember anything, I will be sure to tell you about it on the phone uh, when you call up. And if you want to go for a test drive, you are more than welcome to do so because this car is for sale and it is for sale exclusively using Sell Your Car UK. Thank you for watching.